I have a confession. I am not a green thumb. Actually, I'm the opposite. I'm what they call a black thumb. I think plants shudder when I get close. But my wife is a green thumb, and so I was thinking about that when it came to faith. I'd like to take the principles of being a good green thumb to faith. Now, here's the problem with black thumbs like me. When we don't love plants, we're apathetic, we're uninformed. So you cannot be a black thumb Christian. The reality is for me when it comes to plants, I don't really know anything about them and I don't care, but you can't go get that way with God. You've got to work on your relationship to get to know him, his character, his call, and his way. And so I want you to be a green thumb Christian. I want you to think of your faith as a metaphor, as an analogy, like a plant. Just like plants need water and light, so your faith needs to be nurtured. I know this from my wife, she's always concerned. Are the plants getting in the right spot? Are they getting the right amount of water? Are they in the right space to grow? And it's the same in our faith with God. Are you in the word? Are you praying? Are you continually feeding and nurturing the faith in your life? But the second thing is that they need the right environment. Not only is it enough to nurture that faith, you've got to put yourself in places for your faith to grow. Here's what I've learned in my life. Sometimes you need to stretch your faith. So maybe you're at school or workplace and with your neighbors, you need to express your faith and stretch yourself a little bit. But sometimes you also need to nurture your faith. You need to get in a group at your church or in a group of friends who can talk about faith and how you can grow together. But I've also learned this about plants, and I didn't know this, but you need to be aware that all plants have pests and you need to make sure they're removed. So the final thing in growing your faith is you gotta remove anything, I mean anything, no matter how small, that hinders your faith, anything that keeps you from God's very best in your life. And sometimes it means you just need to dig a little to find them. So how can you become a green thumb Christian? How can you grow your faith? And how do you know if you're growing in your faith? Well, actually it's quite easy. If you are growing in your faith, you should be seeing and experiencing the fruit of that faith. It's called the fruit of the spirit. We read about them in Galatians 5.22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. So do you see love growing in your life? It's joy. Do you have more joy? It's peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Uh, the Bible says against these things, there is no law. So I want to encourage you today, make the decision to nurture and grow in your relationship with God and if you do, you will experience the fullness of God's harvest, the fruit of the Spirit, in your life. And that is a stepping stone toward who God has created you to be.